Hey guys, back with another video on Desert Lizard Shocks. My shock choice for comp crawlers. So it's the shock I run in this truck, my Vanquish Phoenix, and it does well. So the good thing about these shocks is that it's you can set them up in multiple different ways. You can set up full droop, half droop, a sprung setup, um, all different types of ways. They come with all the springs. They come with the long, medium, and short, soft, medium, and hard springs. So they got you covered with a whole bunch of different springs. They also come with multiple different pistons, a four hole, three hole, two hole, and one hole pistons per shock. And um, also extra seal set, which is always good, you know. And they're cheap, they're about 25 bucks a pair. And I think they're one of the best shocks out there. Um, so yeah, so multiple videos of people wanting to know how I set up the shocks. So I run full droop, front and rear. Um, I just think it keeps the truck more stable on climbs. Descent, side hill, and you know everything, but you you do lose belly clearance a little bit because now the truck is sitting all the way down instead of you know on, on as a sprung setup. So here's the shock. When you get them, you loosen up the top. Oil. So as you can see, this is the barrel. Pretty simple. And this is the, the shock shaft, the cartridge. Um, as you can see, I'm using the longest, softest spring below the piston. So when you go pull the shock shaft, it's going to suck it back up. That's full droop. And you, what the good thing about this is you could run different springs. So you could have a medium, medium length spring here, and then you could run a, like a small spring up top. So you could have like 70% droop and 25% sprung. And you know, you could do a whole bunch of different spring combinations and stuff. If you know, if you like the sprung setup or if you want a little bit of a sprung setup, and yeah, you could do multiple springs because when you put the when you put the spring back, you could just put one spring in there, which stays on top, and then the other spring on the bottom. So you could have two springs in there, you know, multiple different setups, which is I, I think it's pretty cool because one shock covers everything. Um, so yeah, so on my truck, I'm using the longest, softest spring with a one hole piston. I feel like. Since I'm using 30 weight, it kind of slows down the rear a little bit. And um, I, I like slow crawling. So slowing down the rear and letting the rear work, I think is ideal for my driving. And then the front, I just use the, the standard four hole piston. And um, yeah, and that's the shock. Very simple setup. Um, yeah, very simple. So now for the shock oil, if you put too much, um, it, it, it's not good. So I kind of put the, I put oil. Let's try to get this in the video. So I don't fill it all the way up. I probably do probably half, half of, half of the thing. I don't go all the way to up because then you kind of like lock the, the the shaft from going all the way under. So it's kind of do like half. Then you tighten it all the way. And as you can see, this is the shock. So if you put too much oil, when you go push down on the shock shaft, it 
it's not going to go all the way. You want to put enough oil where the shock shaft goes all the way in and it stays in. And, um, yep, that's the shock. So now when you go pull the shaft, see how it just goes back in? That's a droop setup. On a normal shock, when you go pull it, it can stay halfway. Depends how soft the spring is. So as you go climb, if you have too much weight on your chassis, um, as you go climb, the, the, the shock will push it out. So what this shock does, it pushes the whole front in, keeping the whole front stable when you go side hill and keeps the truck more lower to the ground. And um, yep. That's the setup. That's the setup I run in all my trucks lately. And it's, it's been doing good. You know. And 